वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर इट एस दोदकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन गॉसिस लो फॉर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो हियर आई बी सॉल्विंग टू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन गॉसिस लो फॉर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो बिफोर वी सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन गॉसिस लो फॉर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लेट मी स्टेट द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ गॉसिस लो फॉर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इट एक्सप्लेन्स that magnetic flux for closed surface will be always zero or one can say surface integration of magnetic field for enclosed surface that will be always zero it indicates there is no existence of magnetic monopole right and by using maxwell's derivation based on gauss's law for magnetic field we can understand that divergence of magnetic field will be zero right that also indicates there is no existence of magnetic monopole so let us solve two very interesting examples based on gauss's law for magnetic field so here a question is the flux density at a point in space is given by b that is this the value of constant must be equals to how much right so here what we will be doing is we will be applying gauss's law for magnetic field where as per gauss's law for magnetic field we can say del dot b means divergence of magnetic field that will be zero so divergence of this that is equals to zero so what is divergence del by del x of x component so x component is how much 4x plus del by del y of y component so y component is how much 2ky plus del by del z of z component so z component is how much 8 right and that is equals to 0 as per gauss's law of magnetic field so let us simplify this so differentiation of 4x with respect to x that is 4 plus differentiation of 2ky with respect to y that will be 2k y differentiation is 1 plus differentiation of 8 with respect to z 8 is constant so differentiation will be 0 for this so we can say here 2k is equals to 4 so k is equals to minus 2 so here our correct option will be this so here by using gauss's law for magnetic field means del dot b is equals to 0 that indicates there is no existence of mo magnetic monopole and that results into k is equals to minus 2 in this question let us have one more very interesting question based on gauss's law for magnetic field the following four vectors field are given in cartesian coordinate system the vector field does not satisfy the property of magnetic flux density is so here we have four vectors you see and which vector does not satisfy the property of magnetic flux density now what is the property see if it is a magnetic field in that case del dot b is equals to 0 so that is the basic property which we need to identify here so here all we need to do is we need to have identification of del dot vector is equals to 0 if it is following this then we can say it is following the property of magnetic flux density if it is not then that will be the question which we are delivered to identify right so let us see for question a so del dot a here for this that will be differentiation of x with respect to x component so x component is y square plus differentiation of y component with respect to y component so so that is z square here plus differentiation of z component so that is x square here and here this will be zero right you see y square differentiation with respect to x will be zero as this is constant this is also constant with respect to y and this is also constant with respect to z 
So this is following this. So I can say this is correct. Similarly, if I do this for this, then you see differentiation of z square with respect to x plus differentiation of x square with respect to y plus differentiation of y square with respect to z so obviously this is also zero right as here you see differentiation of z square with respect to x so this is constant with respect to x this is constant with respect to y and this is constant with respect to z so this will be zero so this is also following a property now if you calculate divergence of this vector then you will be observing differentiation of x component with respect to x so that is x square plus differentiation of y component with respect to y so this is y square plus differentiation of z component with respect to z so that is z square now if you solve this then you see this is 2x plus 2y plus 2z right so here we have not been given anything which is zero right now right means this is not following the condition right now let us check this also right sometimes in questions you will be observing there can be two possibilities so if you do differentiation of x component with respect to x so x component is y square z square plus differentiation of y component with respect to y so that is x square z square plus differentiation of z component with respect to z so that is x square y square so you see this is constant with respect to x this is constant with respect to y and this is constant with respect to z so this differentiation will be zero means this is also following the property which is what divergence of magnetic field will be zero right so we can say our correct answer is this so this is how we can identify property of magnetic field i hope you have understood this and this is quite essential in solving problems so one should know magnetic flux that is surface integration of magnetic field right and for enclosed surface it will be always zero as there is no existence of magnetic monopole as for gauss's law of magnetic field and that is what the derivation which we have done it by Maxwell as per divergence of magnetic field is equals to zero by applying Stokes theorem here. So one should know how we can solve this type of tricky equations. I hope you have understood this.